In today's video, we are going to go continue with trigonometry and we are moving on to special triangles. The two special triangles that we have are the 45 degree angle and the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Let us start with the properties of the 45 degree uh, isosceles triangle. What we know about an isosceles triangle is that if these two angles are of equal size, then these lines are of equal length. And in the special triangle, what we are going to use is the unit of one. Then to find the hypotenuse, we use Pythagoras. So it will be 1 square plus 1 square is 2 square, and then that length would be the square root of 2. For now, you do not have to calculate that, but it is determined by Pythagoras. Our second triangle is 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90. Notice both triangles are right-angled triangles. Now, if I assume that this is one unit, the length of this line would be half of the length of that line. So that then would be two units. And in order to find the third side, I can use Pythagoras. So it is two square, which is four minus one, that becomes three, and I square root that, so it's the square root of three. Again, you do not need to calculate it, but it's easy to remember it. Now that we have the special triangles, we can find all of the trig ratios for these angles. Let us start with this triangle. So, the sine of 45 degrees is equal to... So I can either use that 45 degrees or I can use this one. It will yield the same answer, but let's start with this one. Sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite is 1, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. Then we have the cos of 45 degrees. Cos is adjacent over the hypotenuse, so it's 1 over square root 2. Next, we have the tan of 45 degrees, which is opposite over adjacent. So at 45 degrees, opposite is 1 over 1, which will give us 1. In this triangle, let's start with the 30 degrees. So the sine of 30 is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is a half. The cos of 30 degrees is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tan of 30 is the opposite over the adjacent. 1 over square root 3. Now we are done with the 30 degrees, we can also find the trig ratios at 60 degrees. So from 60, sine is opposite of hypotenuse. The cos at 60 degrees, so cos is adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tan of 60 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent. So it's square root 3 over 1, which will be square root 3. You do not need to memorize these values. You simply need to memorize these two triangles. This will allow us to solve 
um, special angles, the 45 degrees, 30 and 60 degrees, without the use of a calculator. Let's say, for example, we want to solve the sine of 30 degrees plus the cos of 60 degrees without a calculator. What we would do is we are going to draw the triangle, the relevant triangle, and then use it to find the values for sine of 30 and the cos of 60. It's important to be able to draw this from memory and also to remember which values goes where. So now I can do the sine of 30. So at 30 degrees, it is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that is a half. And the cos of 60 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is a half. And a half plus a half is equal to one. We can also do multiplication. Um, the first thing we want to do is find the value of tan of 30. So at 30 degrees, tan is opposite over adjacent. So it's 1 over the square root of 3. And the sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's square root 3 over you can remove the brackets by multiplying numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators. So 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3, and 2 times the square root of 3 is 2 and the square root of 3. The square roots will cancel out, so I have 1 over 2 or a half. We can also use the two triangles simultaneously to solve uh, or to simplify this fraction. Let's start with the sine of 45. It's 1 over the square root of 2 times the cos of 45, it's adjacent hypotenuse, 1 over square root 2. That's a substitution in the numerator. So I keep the division. Cos of 30 is adjacent over hypotenuse. Square root 3 over 2. Sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse. Square root 3 over 2. You would notice that the sine of 45 and the cos of 45 are the same values. And the cos of 30 and the sine of 60 are also the same values. You do not have to memorize this. Simply be able to draw these two triangles correctly and then take the information out of the triangle. Now that we have substituted, we can multiply. 1 times 1 is 1 over square root 2 times square root 2 would become the square root of 4 which is 2 over 3 square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9 which is 3 2 times 2 which is 4 you can simplify this without a calculator it is a half divided by Three quarters. And what we learned in grade 9 is we can change the division to multiplication and then we take the reciprocal or we swap the numerator and the denominator after the division and now we can simplify this. So 1 times 4, 2 times 3 and then I can simplify this fraction. Another application of the special triangles is we can use the special triangles to find or to solve theta. In this equation, we want to write sine theta by itself. First, move the square root of 3 over. To have 2 sine theta 
is equal to the square root of 3. Remember when we transpose that we change a negative value to a positive value. Now we divide both sides by 2 in order to get sine theta alone. So sine theta is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Now that I have this ratio, I can see or identify which special triangle to use. If I look at the 45 degree triangle, there are no square roots of 3 or 2, so I'm not going to use the 45 degree triangle. If I look at the 30, 60 degree angle, I find that there's a square root 3 and a 2. And remember, sine is equals to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we know that the 2 is the hypotenuse and the square root of 3 is the opposite. So the angle opposite this is 60. Therefore, theta is equal to 60 degrees.